Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber, one rental at a time, back with the one and only Millennial Mike, who is getting videos from the audience so that we can react to. And dude, I, I, I can't thank you enough. You know I don't edit videos, so the fact that you're willing to review, put together, and I, pe trust me, people don't realize you have to watch a video like five, six, seven times to put it all together, which I'm never going to do. <laughs> so what do we got? So this is an interesting one. So for those of you who know Valuetainment and Patrick Bet David, we've reacted to some of his videos before, but he's a very big YouTube presence. I, I genuinely like his channel. Um, he has a co-host, Adam Sosnick. And Adam Sosnick has his own YouTube show where they talk about money and finances. And they brought on David Green from Bigger Pockets. And he was giving his take on whether or not a crash is coming and what that's going to look like. And honestly, I think we found the reason why you didn't get invited to the conference because he figured if you were going to say, if he was going to say, the exact same thing as you. He didn't want you up there looking better than him with more hair. So if we watch this video, you're going to find out how much he's copy and pasting your lines. So are you ready for it? Uh, yeah, I look forward to this. <laughs> the majority of our clients are people looking to build wealth through real estate, not just find a house. Mm. So if you want to buy a house, that rate going up makes it much less affordable. Yes. But if you want to invest in real estate, the rate is just a number on a page. And if the numbers work, it doesn't matter if your rate's 20% or 2%. How, the much, numbers work, how much is the rent that's coming in? What are your other expenses? Is this a short-term rental that brings in more money or is this a traditional rental that will bring in less? Mm. So because a majority of our clients are coming from a wealth building perspective, we haven't slowed down. What rates do is affect demand. See, this is the problem is people say rates are going up, prices should go down. Just how, how it has to work that way. Affordability is going down. No, demand is going down. Less people want to buy. When That's the rates exactly are up. right. Now, if you were at equilibrium, there was a house for every buyer and rates went up making demand go down, prices would have to go. This is mm. when I hear Pat talk about this or other people talk about it, they're right. They're just a little, there's more nuance to it. Mm -hmm. If you're in an area that already did not have enough supply, it was like not enough houses or 20 people for every one home and demand goes down, you're still not gonna see prices go down. You can keep raising rates more and more and more and more. The prices aren't adjusting till they hit that equilibrium. And there's a lot of markets in the country where there is not enough supply for the people that want it. You might not see the ridiculous, the comps are 700, we're gonna list at 800 and see what happens. But that doesn't mean you have a crash. It never should have been at 800. You're gonna see people pricing their homes where they probably should have been pricing them in the beginning. All right, Mike. So uh, I think I heard some familiar verbiage there. What'd you think? Uh, all I can say is uh, I agree. <laughs> yeah, I think I think I've actually said everything that he just said, almost verbatim. Just a year earlier. Time. Yeah, just a year earlier. Exactly. <laughs> that that was crazy. Rates, wealth building, demand. Uh, it's that actually got a little spooky because I've actually used several of those phrases exactly like that. So. Yeah, that was you. You warned me this was kind of copycat, which I'm not saying it is, but it certainly sounds familiar. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, I've watched I uh, watch a decent amount of their stuff. People send me things, and I feel like they secretly watch your channel because you'll get a hot button topic video, and you'll use your phraseology and the way that you phrase it and the way you uh, put the conversation, and then they almost go word for word, line by line. It's like. I don't think this is an original thought happening over here. So maybe if they ever beat you to the punch once in a while, I might give it to them. But yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it, it's, you know, it's all good. I mean, bigger pockets uh, has a huge presence. Um, you know, they, it, it's where everybody goes for help. So it's okay. I take it as a compliment. Um, yeah. I mean, it's, it would, that was eerie. That was spooky. Mm -hmm. So again, for those of you out there watching, the point of the video was he was sitting there and he was being asked by Adam Sosnick, who was the other guy in that clip about, you know, hey, are we going to be looking at this giant nationwide crash and all these different markets? Um, and he was just explaining that, look, in a lot of these markets, there's no way it can crash. We just have too much demand. I mean, you're going to have to kill demand by 90% to make it happen. And he just doesn't forecast that happening. He did go on to talk about some smaller localized markets where maybe it's going to happen. And I don't know who else has said that, but, uh, <clears throat> um, but it, there was one thing that I did think was funny. At one point they were asking him and I cut this out. Well, you know, so you own houses all over the country. Yes, I do. So you're not just a, this market expert or that market expert. You're an American real estate expert. He was like, yep, that's it. So my question to you, Mike, is, is there anybody who's really an American real estate expert in all the markets? Uh, no, there's just not. I mean, one of the things that you will learn when you look at real estate is it's all real estate is local. And 
while you may own stuff in a dozen markets, you may own stuff in 20 markets, you are not an expert in 20 markets. You do not have enough time uh, to do that. Um, no, no. I mean, I, I study the national market more than most, and I like to look at median price and all of that, but that doesn't make me an expert on, uh, no, just no, no, it's too hard. A lot of people ask me about how to get started investing in out-of-state real estate because I invest out-of-state. And I tell them all the systems and processes I put in place. But when they ask me about a specific market, I tell them what they need to do is find an expert in that market because I cannot help them unless it's Gary, Indiana. That's it. I mean, there's people who are successful or unsuccessful in every market. You just need to find the successful ones and then copy what they do. Absolutely. I agree 1000%. Mike, that's all I got for you. Uh, Unless you have anything else, we'll just see you next week. You got it, brother. Take care of yourself. Be safe.